Okay, so this is a Masani residential refrigerator. I don't know how many cubic feet it is, but it's not that. It's maybe one, two, three and a half feet tall. I just stuck it in here. The other one went out, so I had to do a really quick job and just throw it in there for the trip. Anyway, here's my Yeti 1000. And it's been running this refrigerator since 11.20 a.m. And let me come down here and press this button here. And it started out at 94%. And it is now at 66, I mean at 53%. And it's pulling 66 watts. So this is letting me know that I it'll run another 6.9 hours. And it is going through the AC port. So it's, I started at 11.20. And it is now, let's see, let's see what time it is. Try to open this. It is now 8 o'clock, 8, 8.05. So it's gone about nine hours. So in nine hours, it's taken it from 94 to 53. So it's taken, what, 41% of the battery? It's not bad. Not bad. So it's going to run about 20 hours. We're going to run this little refrigerator about 20 hours. And really, that's all we need it to do. We usually don't boondock, but we do um, want to be able to run this refrigerator for our trip to get where, from point A to point B. Uh, right now, we're at a full hookups uh, campground. I'll show you the campground we're at. Um, this is on the Frio River here in Concan, Texas. It's not bad. And uh, they just got brand new grills out here. And uh, full hookups. It's on the Frio River. Um, a lot of people might know it, it's near Garner State Park, which is the number one park in Texas if you want to come out RVing and camping. The river's really nice. I have some video on the river, but. I really don't, don't know how to add two videos together, so this is all you're getting. Um, it's a big rig coming in right now. It's my parents right there. And this is my little hoopty that I'm trying to get up and running, and we're in the process of peeling all this stuff off. I got one of those 3M type of uh, wheels to help take off the uh, stickers on it. Again, this is my little hoopty. I've had it for a while. Ashton. And I have some ice maker that makes a lot of ice for us. Rather than run to the store every five minutes, oh, we just emptied it. Make our own ice. Anyhow, um, so I figured out that it'll run this for about 20 hours. This little refrigerator freezer for 20 hours. So we don't have to put it in an ice chest. Like I said, I usually have a Coleman ice chest. Um, ice chest, um, what's it called? Elect electrical ice chest. And uh, that's what we usually put everything in. And then when we get here and the refrigerator cools down, then we transfer everything out of that into this. But now that we know that this Yeti will run it for 20 hours without having to be recharged, um, we can eliminate bringing the electric ice chest. Uh, so anyway, that's it for this. And again, this is what, uh, let's see if I can get this right. That's the power draw on it again. And if you change that in units, it uses 10.8 volts. Battery has 10.8 volts. Output is 6.1 amps, 66 watts. And that's your watt hours. That's it. I do have a solar panel on my truck. Um, that I can charge this with. That's how I usually ran it. I ran, put this in the back of my, the bed of my truck. I put my um, electric ice chest on it, and then I plugged in my solar panel using the uh, Anderson ports. That's it.